In this video, we are discussing 12 volt power. Considering that 80 to 85 percent of components in your RV require some degree of 12 volt power, your RV's 12 volt power system is a good place to start when troubleshooting most issues in your RV. Most RVs include a deep cycle RV battery, one or more, a power converter with a charging function, a fuse panel or breaker box. There may also be a battery disconnect or isolator. The first rule in troubleshooting is to verify the source. For any 12 volt issues, that means you're starting with your RV's 12 volt battery. First, start with a visual inspection. Does the battery look damaged? There should be no cracks, bulges, or anything unusual about the appearance. Your battery should be clean, especially on top and around the terminals. An easy way to check the status of maintenance-free batteries is to look at this eye on the top of the battery. If it is green, the battery is charged and working properly. Also, make sure the battery disconnect is in the connected or use position and not in the store or off position so you can get power to your RV. Next, we want to disconnect the ground from the battery and test it. Pay attention to which wire is connected to the ground side and which is connected to the positive side when disconnecting your battery. Using a meter, we can check that the battery is fully charged by connecting the meter to both of the terminals on the battery. Fully charged, the battery should read between 13.4 and 14.2 volts. Next, we want to check the converter's recharge function is working properly by connecting the meter to the positive terminal and the ground wire. This 13.6 reading indicates that the converter is providing appropriate charging power to the RV battery. Finally, we want to reconnect the ground and connect the meter to both terminals to check that the battery is charging properly. If the converter is not charging the battery properly, we can go inside and check the two converter fuses. To troubleshoot any other components of our 12 volt system, we want to check the fuse panel. Most components that require 12 volt power have corresponding fuses or breakers in the fuse box. The same method can be used for each fuse. Using a meter, you can check the fuses by grounding the black meter probe and touching the red probe to each side of each fuse in turn. If there is power to the fuse on one side, but not to the other side, the fuse is likely bad. Each fuse and breaker is labeled, so if the corresponding fuse is blown or breaker is tripped, that could be the source of your problems. However, if a fuse or breaker continues to fail, there is likely a more serious problem, which is the root cause of the failure. This will likely require the services of a trained RV service technician. Thank you for watching.